Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Alex and welcome back to Toxic KTV and let's play Deus Ex Human Revolution, so the third part of the Deus Ex series. So, um, <clears throat> I actually have one practice point available, so, um, yeah, I think we should manage and take care of some of the missions that are shown on my HUD right there, Mission 5 and Mission 6, which are the main um, quests or missions. Please report to your office. Oh yeah, I will. I will, I will, I will, I will. No problem. So, side missions right there are in blue, and you can get them by going to that, you know, marker right there. Let's see what we can do there. Walking. Security manager office. Dun, dun. Let's hack ourselves. Wait. Jensen, remember Hi. me? Yep. I know you. What up? Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's texts, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... It's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Sure, why not? All right, tell me more. Really? Wow, thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. All right, got it. I got it from here. All righty. So, as soon as you accept a side quest, like the S2 right there, uh, it's shown in blue. Uh, where are all the stairs that I want to walk down? There we are. And we want to go to the technology lab downstairs. Actually, not. I just want to go down. And outside, because as you can see, there are actually three this things thing waiting for us. Memories. I, love working here, I don't but really want to listen to you. How's it hanging, boys? Alrighty. And out of the... As soon as we get out of the building, we actually get another side mission. But, um, you know... No spoilers. No spoilers. That's very, very important. Not to spoil anything, although this game is like, whatever, one and a half years old. Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. Right, I was Cassie. waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. Right. Empathize. I guess I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry. It's not proper of me to come here and stir up bad memories. Right, especially you are. after what you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? Hmm. I do what I have to do. Augmented or not. You seem very pragmatic, Adam. Maybe you should be careful not to trivialize such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. 
-hmm. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. As always. And then I As met this detective, always. a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? Sure, I'm the janitor, like in Death I never Space. got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. Great. This means the world More to me, work Adam. For us. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this <laughs> detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective right. need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Right. So, <clears throat> one thing that I thought, you know, um... Actually, it is very common. By the way, um... These things actually have some something in there. So what I want to do right there is just go on the side mission first, then do a normal mission. You can also look at the uh, map, by the way. Um, downtown Apartments. There. So I'll just go there first and see what I can stir up. What the up, girl? Well, shit! If it ain't the captain himself, Mr. Seraph done fixed you up good, ain't he? Give you a new set of glasses and everything. Damn, Damn girl. How you doing, Mr. So scary. Didn't think I'd see you walking this boulevard anytime soon. That's for sure. Your hair is weird. Not after what happened six months ago. People said you's down for the count. People tend to underestimate me. <laughs> you and me both, Captain. You and me both. Uh, you uh got any credit you could spare? Um. Well. I think let's... I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Maybe next time. I'll be right here waiting for you, Captain. Right, sure. So, she, so she's like selling um, information and whatnot. Yeah. By the way, um, shift is sprinting, but he he can only sprint l limitedly. Or not. Well, let's go here. You can buy stuff right here. Uh, I don't really want to know, but later, later we do that. Grayson, hook me up with some real So there's the dude. First, I want to do the other thing first, right? Right. Pitbull augmentation. Very this important. Right. Security rating 2. Can we actually hack it? Yep, we can. But we should be very... Oh, I actually need... Capturing software 2.0. Well, we could probably get there by going over the roof or something. Or such Dude, even if I, did, I don't how know, the hell maybe. Am I, afford that drug? I guess so. Up? Yes, we probably can. Let's go upstairs. <clears throat> I am not sure because this area is kind of fishy. Let's go. Open that window. <laughs> and just walk through the window, of course. Come on. Go away. Mr. Box. That is just in midair. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I guess we should go down and see for ourselves if we can now uh, we can't go this way. Frick, 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 double freak. What up? Can I get in? How are you, man? You don't seem to be friendly, or are you? Ha! How's it going, ma'am? Sorry for uh, getting in here. Maybe I want to kill you guys later, not sure. 
Mm. But we have a practice point available. And one thing I was thinking, right? We can buy a social enhancer, which will tell us which uh, things to talk to, to people, uh, and make them do what we want them to do, right? So we could also go upstairs and see if there's something that we can do right them here. Rope cats is That's far enough. Leave quietly and you won't get hurt. All right. This doesn't concern you. And I'll go outside. Well, I actually just wanted to get the the experience point so I can get the social uh, enhancer right there. Can I actually get upstairs right there? Over the roof or something? Uh, no. I actually can't. But there is a window. Maybe that will help. Or not, I'm not really sure. Oh, this is where I've been, okay. Well, then, um, I'll better get going back. Because with this social enhancer, we can go to another place or something. Yeah, we should go to another place first. <laughs> Funny thing is that on hard mode, your fall damage actually doubles or something. So if you jump from here to here, he actually dies, which is funny because he actually should not. <laughs> right. Mm, we can actually go here, but for that we need the high jump. I don't have any practice points available anymore. Right. So, waste of time going this way. Well, not not particularly wasted time. We we'll just locate the detective and talk to Chase. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. Uh -huh. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have right. you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up, maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, sure. well right there. There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay, I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth right. looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please, don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. Alright. Um... Actually, I'm okay. 
That's all I need for now. Right, so, um, there's actually nothing that we can do right here. You can see we have a lot of shit going on. Um, I'm not really sure what's up here. So many markers. So many markers. Security rating one, I can hack this. For sure. Hack! Um, whoa. Well, let's try to fortify. Oh man, that's gonna kick some serious ass if we're not fast enough. So it's trying to get this node, but I think we're faster now. Access granted. Access granted, all right. What do we have here? Nothing, nothing, and uh, nothing. Wow, that is cool. It's cool that we find nothing. Like, really nothing. Oh. There's a thingy that we could read. I don't see anything else. There's some meds right here. Like, really not? Come on! For what am I actually hacking doors? Seriously, man. Oh. The f I can actually move the fridge. Hmm. Well, next time. Right. So, downstairs it seems. And one thing that I need is the sprint upgrade because I love sprinting. As you could probably imagine, you know my gaming style somehow. Alrighty. So... Ahem. <clears throat> Let's go to S3. There are a lot of things that we could do right now. And my eyes are just fucking up right there. Ah, oh, I can't look. The good thing is that S no, M5 and S3 are actually coincidentally falling together as they are all part of the police department. What's up, bro? I really need some good ammunition. Better oh, stuff man, right there. Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Yeah, Nishima Akin was prettier. Whatever, I don't even know what these girls Adam, are. You got that neural hub yet? You're asking me to pull off a heist, boss, inside a police station. It's gonna take time. Right. Well, if you can't talk your way past the lobby, there's gotta be another entrance outside, in back or on the roof. Save the frontal assault as a last resort. Yeah, that actually is. So, um, there's a buttload of stuff. And as you can see right there, there is actually, I can show you right there. Around this corner, there are some really heavy boxes that you can only, I can actually put that, get that also. Uh, there are some really heavy boxes, which you can only get if you're really strong and whatnot around that corner. But before, like, there's something else we can go through. Can't really remember. Whatever. Let's go inside the police station. I think this is more... most important. Also, you can probably just use them and with a high jump to get somewhere else. Do I actually have a practice point available? That would make things a lot easier. I have to double check. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about the talkie pot right there, but, you know, it's a bit problematic in DSX right there. All right. All the media yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not oh. that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob and a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? Okay. To activate pheromones, convincing him. Um. That's, you know, he's kind of the... Bettis can appeal to, but to low self-esteem of Omegas will make them very suspicious of kind approaches. He was more of an Omega type, right? A little bit of beta. Omegas are susceptible to pressure, but Alphas are quicker to rebel. And Alphas can be... Uh, appease, but but bitters will arrange. So I would say Omega susceptible to pressure. You talk tough, but we both know that's all you can do. Deep down, you're nothing but a coward. 
Well, trust me, tough guy. I'm the real thing. If you don't give me what I want, I won't beat you up. I'll kill you. Ah, uh, now listen, man. We, we obviously got off on the wrong foot here, right? <laughs> I don't want no trouble. Talk. Mm. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly... It shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell why. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Right. We obtained some real good information. Ah, we also have to talk to them. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Right. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Now oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there. My orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. He's a better type, yeah, a bit. Damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in a two-bit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Right. So he's a bit of a better type. And a bit of an Omega type. So, um... First of all, when you have a talk which is related to a main quest, you get this, you know, nice interface. You get the personality traits. He's aggressive, excitable, and insecure, and a psychological profile which you can use to, you know, it has a tendency to generate and escalate. Uh, needs to be brought back down where it's uh, back down when doing so. Feel super more is looking for absolution for something subject to sudden fits of rage situation should be diffused with care. Right. So crushing is never what? a good... Nothing to say? No, not really. So we need to start absolving him a bit. Okay, look, you're angry. And you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. Persuade What's it gonna them? end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important? Right. So, we could... This is like an Omega type, right? So... So... Hmm. Not really sure. Start crushing him? Let's start. Don't put this on anyone else. We both know the real reason you're stuck here is that you feel guilty about what you did. And until you face up to that, this is where you're going to stay. Oh, that's right. It's time to blame Wayne again. Uh-oh. You want to talk about the past? Fine. You saw that kid's augments. You know how dangerous he could have been. If he'd gotten close enough, he would have wiped the floor with us. So I made sure he didn't. I took him out. And that's that. Right. Let's influence him. So he's a strong Omega type bit of better. Uh, yeah, let's charm him in. Come on, Wayne. Mexican Town was a complete bohica for both of us. I quit the force because of it, and for a while, I blamed you. But even when I was most pissed, I knew I could always count on you because... because you're a decent guy, Wayne. One of the best. One of the best, huh? One of the best? You manipulative, self-serving jackass. You think I'm gonna fall for that? Get the hell out of the station, Jensen, because I am never going to let you into that morgue! Crap. <laughs> I heard there was a demonstration at the limb. Hey, uh, boss. Yep. How we screwed up. Well, I screwed up. If you're considering multiple homicides to get it, I suggest you back off and look for a less, uh, conspicuous way in. Right. From outside the building. 
Okay. So if you fail in such a position to, you know, uh, get things done the talky way, you have to find a way to get where you want to go by Gentle, finding another I have a way. message for you from one of your former colleagues, a detective Alexander. Jenny, Don't what did you want? Her. She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Hmm. Funny enough. Alright. So, from outside the building, you say. So let's see, do we have a practice point available? No, we don't. We sure don't. I am not really sure how to go about this because I actually the last time I was there <laughs> Which was the first time I played this game. I managed to get in. I Don't know why I screwed up this time I just chose the wrong thing Not really sure if that's gonna help me can't get there not really Well uh, that's probably something else that we can do. It's pretty close by. We could still just go in there. I guess. And try. I mean, it's not like they can, you know, let me in. These offices are off limits to civilians, sir. Don't go in there. But I want to. Come on, please, dude. I want to get in. This time, patients right. attempting to access the. Then not, menu. asshole. <sighs> well. Anyway, guys, I think it's it's time to stop the episode. Anyway, and um, I'll see you when I found out how to get there. Probably through the sewers. We'll see. So, take care. Bye.